Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a fun and cool makeup look that I came up with. It's this look right here. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is priming our eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. So you just take that, pop it all over your lid, get it nice and tacky so that it's easier to put on eyeshadow and that it stays on all day. So the first eyeshadow that I'm going to be taking is Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. I'm buffing that all over my lid with my Luxie 205 blending brush. And you can be as sloppy as you want with this because it's a very light color. Next I am going to be taking my Morphe 12P palette and I'm taking my Morphe 514 brush into that hot pink shade and I'm going to be blending that into my crease. And right here I am flicking the product out so you can give it a winged like effect without using eyeliner. And if you look to the other eye you will see that happening. Next I'm taking a ColourPop eyeshadow called Bella Donna Lily. And it's a very teal color and I love it so much. With ColourPop eyeshadows, I always use my finger because you get the most color payoff. Because ColourPop has a really different texture than any other eyeshadow that I've ever tried. And it's a very creamy, wet type eyeshadow. So using a brush, it doesn't really pick up as much as it would with your finger. Next, I'm taking the same Morphe 514 brush and I'm blending back and forth from the teal into the pink, trying to mix it together as one. Now I'm taking the same Morphe 12P palette, the same brush, and I'm dipping into that purple color, trying to get the crease to pop with more purple. You really want to be careful with this part because you want to go lower than the pink color, so don't go higher than the pink. You want the pink to be showing at the very top. So be very precise in your crease with this part. Again, I'm taking the same brush in the same pink color and I'm going back on top, buffing it all together with that purple into the crease, just trying to get more pink into there. And you will see during this tutorial, I go back and forth with the purple and the pink, trying to balance out the colors from the other eye that I already did. And right here I already took more purple onto that same brush and I'm going a little bit lower trying to slowly but surely put more purple into that crease. Next I'm taking a Morphe M507 brush and I'm putting purple onto that and going straight into the crease. Just, I use this brush just to get it a little bit more defined. This brush makes it a little bit easier to apply into the crease since it is a very tapered brush. Next I'm taking a clean MB23 brush from Morphe and I'm just buffing that all together. I don't have any product on this brush, so I am just slapping this all over my eye, trying to blend all those colors together. And once again, I am taking the Morphe M514 brush with a little bit of pink on it, I'm putting a little bit more pink right there into the crease, and using my Luxie 231 brush, I applied a little bit more purple right there into the crease. Once you feel like both sides are even, you can stop blending. I just felt like I had to keep going and going to make both sides really even. Then I moved on to concealer and I did this off camera. I used the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer by It Cosmetics. And then I take the same palette. And unfortunately, I don't have the name of this brush, but it's an eyebrow brush from Morphe. 
and I just use the pink to apply under my eyes. Next I'm taking a ColourPop eyeliner in the color Frill and I'm just tight lining my waterline. Once I'm done with that, I took my M507 brush and I just buffed out the edges under my eyes. And I went into my ColourPop highlighter in Spoon just to use in the inner corners of my eyes just to give it a nice pop. Then I took another Morphe brush. I don't have the name for this brush, but I put the highlighter on my brow bone. Now, I did all this off camera, but I used my Coco Lashes in 501, and I applied them using my Revlon Precision Lash Glue, and I tight lined with my NYX Treasure Lee Black Eyeliner. And I used my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, one of my favorites. Next, I am going for my bronzer, and I'm using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and I'm using my e.l.f. brush. Now using my Mary Luminizer highlighter with my Morphe M601 brush, I'm going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones. And don't forget that Cupid's bow and the bridge of your nose. Now my first lip option is the LA Girl Lip Liner in Natural and my Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Angeles. I really like this lip option because it focuses all the attention to the eyes. And if you don't want to wear a bold lip color with this, you don't have to because nude works just as great. For my second lip option, I'm using my Tarte Tardis Lip Paint in the color Yes. This is my first time trying the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint and I surprisingly really like it. It stays on nice and when you eat it doesn't really come off so I'm happy I tried this. So that is it for this tutorial. Please like and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys. <laughs> Dude, I'm feeling this, this whole look. Dude, I'm loving this. Honestly, like I'm looking at this, I'm like, damn, dude. Oh my god, this is looking so good. Honestly, like I had my I had my like doubts in the beginning. <laughs> in the beginning, I was like, you really want to go with the pink and the blue? Alright, go. Okay.